everyone. Today is April 14, Tuesday. And I am sitting in a different part because of the lighting is a little problem outside. We got the wind. So today, I thought, what should I share with you? The other day I shared with you the art is not a part. It is we're doing the everything in the function and engage action of the artist every day. So I thought, hmm, what I wanted to share with you. Of course, I'm reading poems with you uh, for the National Poetry Month. But I thought, this is like what I wanted to share with you today because I got a couple emails saying, um, you just have to start and then continue doing. And then they said, oh, it is very hard to start something. And I know like this time of year and we're very scared, you know, skeptical and then a lot of low energy and it is kind of hard, right? So I thought maybe we could do some vision board together. It is not that hard. Um, and some people say, what is the vision board? If we have a bunch of like magazines going around your houses, just put all the magazines and then just like when you look at your magazines passport mmm we like to travel someday so like just take it out yourself and then oh do you want to go where do you want to go hawaii or whatever you know maybe you could uh, go see the penguin you know then you just take it out the paper and then you parse out all different parts something like you know Maybe you want to have a date again, you know, all that kind of stuff. So you just pile up and then put different things, categories. Ooh, I think I like this outfit. Don't you think? This is kind of cool. And so you um, take it out and divide it by, or it doesn't have to be divided by, but like usually we do by financially, success, love, relationship, you know, career all different kind of things we don't even have to think about that part and um i wanted to i didn't do for a while i do every year but um i wanted to show you what i did um i think this one like it last year and this one i did like for all oh, beautiful i want to be feeling good you know live your best life and you know yoga and dog and then our dog died a couple years ago and then we have a new dog and you know um let's keep this to ourselves you know so i'm having a lot of a good time with my husband spread happiness i think maybe that's what i wanted to do too right so that's what you're doing and also this one is like for my as an artist um that i did like for a lot of like writing, you know, keynote speaking, and then place for your next book here. And guess what? I got the, my book here. So, look. So, this one is something, uh, find your inspiration, you know, that kind of thing. So, it would be really good. And so, that fine arts. So I wanted to share with you for how to make your vision board. And um, this one is for not, I did it, but uh, when I teach with, um, <clears throat> with another artist, the Marine, and we taught how to do art, and I share with them how to write a poetry. And this is what 87 years old lady who never drove before and made this beautiful art. I shared that with you um, another time. So, it, to say that, I thought I'm gonna shout out to my um, Korean women friends and read Korean poem. You who forgot your dream. 꿈을 잊은 그대에게 우리 모두 한때 꿈을 꾸며 살았지요. 빈 주머니 아랑곳 없이 우리는 하늘을 보고 음악을 듣고 나뭇잎 떨어지는 것을 바라보며 행복했었지요. 그땐 순수해서였을까요? 반파도 무겁게 치는 날에도 
추운지도 무서운지도 모르고 얼음장같이 차가운 모래사장에 앉아 우리는 가능성에 대해 열정적으로 이야기했지요. 그땐 젊어서였을까요? 우리 생기가 넘치던 얼굴, 반짝이던 눈동자, 호기심으로 진동하던 가슴, 다 어디로 사라졌나요? 아, 언제부터 우리는 꿈꾸기를 멈춘 걸까요? 우리 다시 꿈을 꿀 수는 없을까요? 물론 우리가 바보, 바라보아야 할 현실과 살아가야 할 일상, 어른으로서 아내로 엄마로 일하는 여성으로 해야 할 일들이 중요하죠. 그런데 말씀해 보세요. 정말 꿈이 없다면 우리가 살아있기나 한 건지 꿈을 잊은 당신 다시 꿈을 꿀 생각은 없나요? So this um, poem that I wrote about the people who lost their dreams and you know once we had a dream but like you know we enjoy the nature and we're like talking about the hope and i think this is a great time that we have to redream reconnect redirect ourselves so i thought maybe making this vision board will be really kind of will help us to get through another day right don't you think and so this is another poem that i'm gonna read 바다와 나 전생에 나는 물이었나 봐 어떻게 바다 앞에 서면 마음이 편해져 밀려오는 파도 속에 아무런 저항 없이 나를 던져 나 물이 되어버리지 이렇게 바다 속에 한 시간만 장수하면 바다처럼 파래지는 내 마음 어른 물미역처럼 부드러워지는 내 영혼 내 아무 말 하지 않아도 바다는 알아. 바다가 아무 말 하지 않아도 나는 알아. 전생에 내 물이었음을. 나 바다 앞에 서면 저절로 푸른 액체가 되어 녹아져 버림을. So this poem is the um, ocean and me. And this is how it goes. Before this life, Maybe I was water. When I stand in front of the ocean, I am so peaceful. When the waves come to me, I throw myself to the water and I become water. When I stay in water for one hour, my heart becomes like an ocean. My soul soft like a baby seaweed. I don't say anything, but the sea knows. Even though the sea doesn't say anything, I know I was the sea. When I stand in front of the ocean, gradually, I melt. I become blue water. And I hope you're well. And then if you starting the vision board, would you share with me? And um, I'm going to start making my vision board as well. And of course, I'm not going to be finished today, but um, I'm going to start it. So that would be great. So I hope um, you stay really safe and well. And then I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Bye.